with the 38th selection of the 2013 First Year Player Draft, the Cincinnati Reds select Michael Lorenzo, right-hand pitcher from Cal State Fullerton, Fullerton, California. Uh, thank you for today. Thank you for this food. I just pray that you bless and nurture it to our bodies, Father. I uh, pray that this week that you guide us, lead us, uh, that we get in your word and apply it. And uh, once again, just thank you for the time that you've given us. And it's in your name that we love and pray. Amen. Really? <laughs> and then yes, yeah, so I just kind of go through all three. I read this first, get the history a little bit, go back, read it. If I need to look something up, use my laptop, and kind of gets my mindset and ready for the day. Thing, you're not willing to make that next step. You're not willing to take that next step. You're not willing to do as Jesus says. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, on the outside you're following him, but inside you know, like, I'm not doing everything that I should be doing. And it's not even like doing, though, but it's just believing. If you believe truly, you would do. If that makes sense. If you truly believe that Jesus is God, with no doubt, 100%, then you would do. It's just, that's, why wouldn't you, right? Fade to black, the waves splash and set me off track So my vessel might crash or collapse When I'm attacked and start wrestling in my head with these bad memories from my past I'm aware of my guilt, overwhelmed and the smell of my blood Has the sharks that surround me cast under a spell They waited for me to fall but when I fell the water got still And the blood that was built protects me, it's the same blood that cleansed me My only defense against my nemesis, now I can rest Knowing that nothing can come against me unless the father gives consent Evil intentions will not disturb God's purposes or interfere So who shall I fear if my anchor is secure Learning to consider it pure joy when I'm facing tribulations Praising God instead of complaining and getting overtaken with bitterness Looking at the pages of the book of James And seeing the ways that God works through the trials to make us more mature in our faith It reminds me how desperate I am in this desert land Thirsty for your mercy and plan Why you give me the strength to stand You're my greatest pleasure Yeah, no matter the weather I face Lord, you never forsake my fragile life is safe Under your sovereign grace oh, of my soul you sustain Self, then you ain't new to it, trusted and self-lusted and lured to it. So what a 
darkness overwhelms me and a tide of light rises and swells it as well as what compels me when faced with adversity your truth constantly reminds me that true command is seized with ease and with words you turn in wind and breeze Hold up, I'm back to boast in these tracks like I'm mad that I might back slap mics Never mind the fact I never left I'm hate this and upright You ain't gotta ask me twice I'm here, I'm here To brag on him like I'm known for Why folks know I'ma go for it My guy ain't no folk law cause he real, he real <laughs> Now to the top again hand I know the designer, he's higher than pilots who fly up in class He designed with his hands Hey, I'm breaking to tell you this life is a flesh and a pain How I'ma retire when we need a cryer to tell us to rise up and stand Check your plans my dude, that grave ain't your home Cause you been underground way too long Six deep with a day, don't get stoned All they say, that boy gone Come on, let you wanna go home Let you wanna be more than a clone Do you know that you're nothing you know? We all ride on the wrong side Beating our chest to the wrong guy We don't need God May not say it with our mouths, but we do with our whole life It's bold life He the most I know close by We all die John 5, 28, 29, the judge is here All right Gotham, where there are already too many inconsistent heroes. We live in a city where people overpromise what they're willing to do, but catch them on the wrong day, and they have already checked out. See, real heroes, real misfits, real Christians, real Christ followers, they don't pick and choose when they help, nor do they allow a circumstance to dictate their level of commitment. We choose to live a life that most people say they don't want to live, but we know that we are new to this and because of his grace we are able to make it this is why we carry our cross daily and daily allowing our cross to carry us through each and every one of us are called to live a selfless life not making it about us not making it about how many followers we can gain on twitter or instagram but making it about how many followers can be added to the kingdom not for our sake but for the name of jesus christ i am praying and i am hoping that today you will be consistent in your faith please allow me to expose to you from the onset from the very beginning if you are doing this thing for applause or accolades then you are in it for the wrong reason why because the bible clearly states that all glory all honor does not belong to us it all belongs to jesus christ so when you enter in this thing be sure that you know that you understand and that you are okay with knowing that all the work may be done by you but all the praise and thank yous belong to him a misfit is one who's uncomfortable with his or her surroundings and is seen to be disturbingly different than others. And as misfits, one of our greatest discomforts is inconsistency amongst our peers. 
no matter what happens, we remain full of character and integrity without ceasing, without stopping. Why? Because we realize that this is more than a fad or a trendy term or a t-shirt. This is a lifestyle and it is a commitment to God. And as misfits living under the mandate of Jesus Christ, we do not take our commitments lightly. Our yes is yes. And our no is no. So just got done lifting, no. uh, about to play some catch. I got my, I'll roll this Chapman cleats on. I'm gonna wear them all off season. Hopefully I come back throwing a little harder. Johnny Manziel style. So we're gonna warm up with the football, right? Warm up with the football. And then get into my throwing routine. Hopefully everything feels good. So I have people asking me, you know, why are you doing so much when spring training starts in two months? And my answer to them is always, I'm not promised tomorrow. And I want to take full advantage of the time that God has given me today. And so that's the way I look at every single day and uh, to whom much is given, much is required. And God has given me such an awesome gift to play the game of baseball. And um, that's a big responsibility. And I want to get the most out of it. And the platform that comes with it to be able to help people, that's my motivation. Not just to have a good career, not to be in the Hall of Fame one day, um, but just to give people the hope that Jesus Christ has given me. And, and through his cross and through sacrificing his own life for me. Um, and I just want to spread that hope and understand that you do have a purpose in this life. There's a purpose for your life and there's a purpose for the time that has been given to you. And you know, I hope that you take full advantage of it. And I hope this video um, motivates you and just to see what I do on an everyday basis uh, leading up to spring training in this off season. Uh, so have a good day and God bless.